Burger Scott here, and today we'll be baking. So, we're going to be baking Whirly Gig cinnamon rolls. First, what you want to do is go to, is you want to heat to 420 degrees. Let's bake four to five. This is what you want to press. Then you press start. Okay, so that right here is, we're going to let it, we're going to press start. So then, what you want to do, while that's doing, you have to grease yours. So take your 12 muffin pans, or 12 cupcakes, over the sink, and you want to spray it with some butter flavored cookie spray. First, open up the lid, shake a little bit, spray it. Okay. Then go over. Then. You want to do it on the side, not just on the top. Got it. Dad's here, just trying to help. There we go. Smell good butter. That's what you're supposed to. Then. What you want to do is you want to make some dough out of two cups of biscuit and two thirds cups of milk. So get a glass bowl, like this one right here. Oh, a giant glass bowl. So like the bar one. Okay, so you're still recording, right? Mm hmm Okay, cool. So, then what you want to do is you want to put in... This one to the side. Then what you want to do is you want to get two cups of biscuit. Or... One cup. So two cups is what you need. You might as well just get a one cup one. It's ready. And that's kind of what you want to do. You might as well do this over the sink, maybe. Go over the counter where you can squeeze goodly. Which I am missing this picture. Oh, 
little shake inside the bowl. Is that a pull? Love you, Susan. Well, I will tell you this, that the other cups were a little heavy, so more than a cup in there. So you'll probably be okay with what you get there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get any more out. That's it. That's it. Now, which one do you want to leave your to leave the directions? You want to leave that flour for a little bit, so I'll leave it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to leave out that. Switch to that first. Hold your pen of the guardian. Keep that out. Start reading again. And then you'll notice that you need two thirds of milk. So you get two thirds of milk. Four or third. So what you would do is. up at the end. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't need it when he's rolling it out. Besides. I don't think I got enough milk, but we have to see. Zippy, hush. Yeah, we got a dog here. Also, you always want your parents around to help you whenever you're baking, sometimes when you're under 13. But mostly all the times. Also, you want to stir your kind of like mine. Do it really hard, but also don't try and spill it. Because I spilled a lot of stuff. Uh, I could have spilled half of a bowl, almost. It could be way worse, guys. How long do you stir it, Jack? Let's see here. To a soft dough. So make sure it turns into a dough. Which it'll take about a while, maybe. How many, how many cups of milk did you put in? I think you were a little light on the milk. Put a little bit of milk in there. I was yeah. light on the milk. Right. Like, I was really light on yeah. the milk. Yeah. We'll just pour it in by the Keep stirring. Okay. Once it gets to a soft dough, keep on doing it hard. And if your arm gets tired, I would probably get it with another arm. Let me try one thing real quick. Okay. So I'm just going to try and try it. Always make sure you have a parent or guardian. Yep. So you get more so it turns into dough. Mm -hmm. 
What's the consistency of what's it? What's it? What are you looking for? Kind of want something that you could turn into bread when like, you warm up. Like, like play dough. Kind of. Yeah. So not yeah. like toothpaste. Not Definitely like toothpaste. not with toothpaste. Not like once it's stirred enough where you can shake it. I guess it's not considered toothpaste because toothpaste will be moist. And moist. Mm, it's just a hair more milk. What do you think? Yeah. A little more milk. There you go. There. You might want to consistently add milk if you do. If you get it to the texture, you know. Yeah. Prefer yours dry, <laughs> like not really, like really crumbly. If you don't get a moist, it'll get crumbly. So don't snick it too much. You might snick horrible. Lesson learned the hard way. And I'm going to peel the dough now. Doesn't feel too well. Stirred, guys. Which do you say it's about stirred? It's pretty, pretty good. Huh? Okay then, I'll say the next step then. Next step: beat dough vigorously until stiff and slightly sticky, which it is. Yeah. Okay. Roll dough around a cloth or lightly dusted flour. Here's the flour. Okay, get a handful. And we're just going to use this wax paper. Mm -hmm. You can use wax paper too, guys, don't worry. Should I smooth out with my hand or not? Where's your camera? Hey, guys, over here. Where are you? Okay. You wash your hand. Better wash my hand. Yep. Also, guys, keep sanitary. You can use this to do it. Keep sanitary, guys, yeah. always. Because it's kind of like a steak, you know? Because when you get your hands dirty, you do not want people to taste your hands. Yeah. Well, yeah, do it sometimes. Okay, got it. Yes, yes. So beat what? The dough? Yeah, you have to beat it. And what does it say? It says Next. beat. After you got it. What's it say? Once you stir it, it says beat dough vigorously 20 strokes until it's stiff and slightly beat, stiff. Beat is not beat it with a stick. It means beat it like this. Okay. Up, can I do the bigger thing? Yeah. Okay, so roll dough around on cloth board, lightly dusted with flour. You need to make your hands wash, too, if you're going to beat it with. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, guys, so it's going to be a long video. It's already been 13 minutes. Well, that's not long. See, it's still coming down there at the bottom. Got it. Need, a that. Need a little bit more milk. You might have to do a bunch of parts to this video just to make it a bunch. Because this thing blacks out. Guys, my camera blacks out and then it starts a new video because it takes too long. Well, you can just have your dough and start over. Sounds about right, but. Or you could just come back for part two if it tries to black out. That's alright, we'll figure it out. Yeah, what else does it say after that? After that, it says roll dough around on cloth covered board, lightly dusted with flour to prevent sticking. Alright, you so, want the dough out there, you ready? Yep, turn it up. Now, we all agree that Dad's going to use the big, the big one. See, I don't wait too much. Does it say knead it? Let's see here. It says knead the dough. It doesn't say knead. Uh, I'll call it that. It's lightly dusted with flour. Uh, 
roll so, dough around and knead, okay? So yes or no? Well, roll dough. Roll dough. Not for this. Stop. Right. This should work better. Got it. Did I draw? Like roll. Okay, so like a ball of play dough. Yeah. Roll. Yeah. I'll hold this side so it doesn't come up. And that's going to take care of it. You can do it like that, Jay. It says now you roll it. No, no, no. So knead gently by folding and pressing and turning the dough and our food at eight times. So push down. Push down. Push my hand? Uh huh. Now fold it over. Fold, fold it in half. Oh, fold it in half. Like uh huh. This. Like that. Yeah, fold it in half. Now push down again. All right, fold now, it up now again. Fold it, fold it in half again. You're going to alternate instead of folding this way, you fold this way and this way. Yeah. Or you can flip it around. Fold it, push it down. Fold. Well, you're not. Okay, keep folding. Fold it this way. Oh my gosh, this is not. Nice. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I do this one? No. Fold fold it this other way. way. Okay, the other way. <laughs> no, the other way. Wrong way. This, that way. I got it. Okay. So, so I just tried basically. And then fold it this way because we did it last time. Got it. Got it? Now this way. Yep. yep. Can you do it the other way? The more way? you need it, the, the smoother it will be. Okay. That is your oven ready. The oven's ready. So it's ready. Wait for you to come in when you get ready. And it's still heating it so it won't get cold. That's so right. that means that. Should I push it down one more time? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. you can okay. <coughs> Have you done it eight times already? I'm gonna, go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and soften your butter, okay, Jack? Okay. So it'll be ready for you when you need it. Got it. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. Need it? Okay, that's some bad humor now. Yeah. You yeah. Need it. I'm just holding this. You These are a number of bad jokes. <laughs> yep. Need. Need. Now are you needy? Well, maybe we can make some later for her when she gets home. Yeah, we can leave them in the freezer. Yeah, we should put them on the mop. So we may have to add a little bit more cinnamon. It's not good enough yet. Yeah. So the more you fold it, it's going to get the more stuff it's going to press it down hard? Uh-huh, he's pressing down. Hey, Jack. So push it. Okay, I have to press that button. No, like, it should be for the button. You can't hold it. You have to watch it. Like, that's why you have to constantly press that button or else you can't see it anymore. Dude, this pan smells like popcorn. Okay. Is it ready? Smash it down. Now, let's see what it says. Give me a second. Really? Smash on that. <laughs> smooth up the dough. The lightly floured cloth cup rolling pan that you have. What you want to do is roll it into a rectangle, 12 by 7 inches. We can hear you on that. Roll it in, in, a, in the shape of a rectangle, 12 by 7. Okay, so 12 by 7? Mm -hmm. What you want to do? We'll put some of that on it to keep it sticking to that. Now we roll it. Now you roll it. And you keep it on keep it on the wax paper. Mm -hmm. You so, guys go ahead and talk. So would you say my arm is about a foot? Yes. So about the size of your arm and about maybe the size of your hand? So the size of that. Okay. So you're going long ways this way and short way that way. Let's, let's get this 
closer to you. Then we can. I'll do it this way, you can do it the other way. How about that? Because it's going to slide off. You don't want to press it all down at once. Just a little at a time. And that way, it doesn't move everything. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Just let the rolling do the work. Got it. Can I try? Yeah. Rectangle yet. We won't make it into a rectangle. No, put the camera where it was. You want it thin so you can get more of it, not less of it, where it's real thick and it doesn't really taste good, right? Well, that doesn't taste good. Hmm. Why don't you switch? Why doesn't Jack roll when you hold a pipe? Because this is kind of Jack's video. That is Jack's video, too. Actually, I mean Fergus Craft's video. So. Roll right down there and try to pull this dough down there. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, and that is our Nana. It is that good? Mm -hmm. Roll this side down a little bit. That's what he does. But now it's just gonna break from. I'll clean it. Alright. Next step. Yeah. Move quick. Can you get off the flower? Here he is. Is spread with soft butter. There's butter. Okay. Yeah, I would wash my hands from the flour. Right. Yeah. Then do the butter so. I'll clean it off. And this is what the butter looks like. This is what your butter should look like. It looks like eggs. It's actually so. melted butter. I over softened it. Yeah, he over softened so we'll it. We're gonna brush but it on. It should be. So, it should be like that. Okay, guys. Right? So guys, if, if, if the butter gets too much, like eggs, uh, like, like make that. Sure, yeah, like make sure you. Like that. Yeah. 
Make sure you get it right and don't drop it in the eggs. Yeah, just just or like. Or else Jack gets mad at you. <laughs> and just like you just get that brush, paint, just like. You want to paint that butter? Just Let's like pull it over here so it doesn't get on the counter. Paint it all over that. Mm-hmm. Just be liberal with it. Be uh, generous. Oh my gosh. Fact, probably this. It's too much. Just spread it around. Kind of like a pizza, guys. Yeah. You want to kind of help it with and you 